Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today I'll be showing you how to add a co-host to your Zoom meeting. So yeah guys, make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do guys is go ahead and open up Zoom if you haven't already. After opening up Zoom guys, you'll be greeted by this main page right here where you can either create a new meeting, join an existing one, see your schedule and so on. So guys, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and join a meeting. You can either join a meeting by clicking this plus button right here and entering the meeting ID or you can create your own meeting. You'll be go ahead and creating our meeting right here and after creating the meeting guys, you'll then be able to send the link or the meeting ID to people so that they'll be able to join. So guys, the first thing you want to do to give someone the co-host is go ahead and see the participants in the chat. So you want to do that by going here to the lower corner where it says participants. You want to click on this to open up the participants tab right here at the right side of the screen. So as you can see at the right side of the screen, you can see everybody that is in the uh, meeting. Currently it is only me, but every person will be appearing here and they will have the same options if you put, put your mouse on them. You can either mute them or you can open the settings by clicking these three dots next to their name. So guys, if you want to give co-host to someone, you want to find that person right here and put, their put your mouse on them. And, and then you want to click these three dots right here next to, the ne to their name. After clicking these three dots guys, if it is not yourself but someone else, there will appear more options right here and one of the options will be in, uh, named to give someone the co-host. So you can either give them the co-host or make them the main host depending of your choosing what you want to do and then after you do that guys, it will automatically be saved and they will become the co-host. So yeah guys, that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So yeah guys, thank you for watching, take care and bye.